What is up guys, Sean here. What if there was a way to hide objects that were in your frame? Yeah, let's talk about how I did that. Okay, lights, camera, and action. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And if you're returning because you're subscribed, well then, thank you. Thank you so much. So before I show you how to hide objects that are in your frame, let's talk about why you would want to. It's a creative choice, really. Say you have a microphone that's in your frame and it's taking up way too much space. Well, this will help you remove it and maintain good, clean audio. Now then, how is this shot achieved? Well, really, one word, masking. You can mask just about any piece of editing software, um, but to create a mask, you need to understand how to shoot it. First, make sure your camera settings are in manual, including your focus. You can't have your camera on automatic because if you do, then it could change the way your shot looks and this will create a problem later when you decide to mask. Next, set your shot up to shoot your video. And once you're done filming, get a clean plate. Shoot for at least 10 seconds. Now the clean plate is where you remove the object from your frame. Once you have your two takes, it's time to get into your editing software. I'm gonna open up my weapon of choice when it comes to video editing, Adobe Premiere. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Premiere. I went ahead and already dragged and dropped my video files here. So something that I did with the clean plate was I created a screen grab. So to do the screen grab, let me show you guys how I did that. So here's the footage of me. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this into my timeline. And while I'm in my timeline, it's me saying, hey, what's up? Here we go. And then right now, as you can see, the microphone is in place. So I'm gonna go to a section where I remove that, uh, my, where I remove that microphone, which is right about here. So why, I, I moved to this uh, area over here and then I took a screen grab using the camera icon over here. Once you do that, it asks you where you wanna save it. You save it, then you drag and drop it back into Adobe Premiere. So now that you know that I already did that, I'm gonna go ahead and create the mask. So to create the mask, I'm gonna grab my screen grab from that clip and place it on top of my video file. All right? So let me go to the moment that we want it to disappear. So what is up guys? And then I look and that's where it should disappear, okay or I should say that's where the microphone appears, or vice versa, it really just depends on what you're going for. Anywho, so let's go ahead and create a mask. So to create a mask, I wanna make sure that this layer is selected, effect controls, uh, I'm gonna click on opacity, and then you have a circle, a square, and the free draw uh, pen tool. We don't need to use the, the draw tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the circle, and then I'm gonna to go to my object that I don't want in my frame, which is this one right here. Scale this up. And now as you can see, it is no longer there. Uh, I'm gonna disable the layer visibility. And you can see it pops in and out and so on. So if I click play, you'll notice right when I look, which is where I have it cut off, it pops right back in. So if you wanna see that mask that I created, it's right here. I have this layer selected under opacity and I have the mask selected and then you can see it. And then you can adjust this to just about anywhere. I mean, you can even go as far as, you know, doing something weird, right? Let's go ahead and move it back into place. So it's important to note that where it is, your hands and your arms can't cross over where your microphone is or wherever the object is that you wanna have removed. Otherwise, it's gonna be a pain and you're gonna to have to do that manually by, the, by using the pen tool and it's like a frame by frame type situation. Uh, try to avoid crossing pads with the, uh, with the uh, object that you're gonna to wanna to have removed. All right, people, that is it for this video. And I really do hope you guys found it helpful. If you did or if you know of any other editing tips you'd like others to know about, drop a comment below and let us know. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.